I'm Travis Todd, and this is my wife, Vanessa. We're here to talk to you about serving in the storms of life. Back in uh, January 2018, we found out that we were expecting another baby, our third child. We got sent to Charleston to a neonatal specialist about two months later, and then we discovered that Ellis had um, a club foot, and um, he had, I guess, a, a knot um, on his back. It was very small. Um, and so they decided to schedule him um, to be born a week early. And then about two weeks later after that, they couldn't find a heartbeat. And so we just, we really just didn't know what to, to do or what to think. And so we just started praying um, and calling out to the Lord. And finally, we were able to find a heartbeat, but they said that he needed to be delivered. So a friend of ours actually drove us down to Charleston to the hospital so um, Ellis could be delivered via emergency C-section. Um, that afternoon, about an hour after getting there, um, Ellis was born. The knot that was on his back um, that was maybe two or three inches um, turned out being the size of a grapefruit on his back. Um, they thought his esophagus was detached, you know, both club feet. A vascular anomalies team came in. They told us he be they believe he has a rare disease called Clove syndrome. And after a month being in Charleston, we came home with Ellis. After a week of being home, we were home preparing for Hurricane Florence. And Ellis ended up spitting up his milk and then dying in my wife's arms. And at that point, she yelled for me and I grabbed him and I prayed that the Lord would fill his lungs and I began CPR. And after five minutes, I heard a faint cry. And then from there, Ellis just kept on getting worse. We ended up having to make a choice that no parent would ever want to make. We called the doctors in and told them we wanted to remove our son from the ventilator. About an hour later, they came in and they checked his vitals. They said his oxygen levels was in the high 80s and 90s and wanted to see if he could make it through the night. And then first thing in the morning, they came and checked him and said he's doing better than he ever has. Ellis came home and he's been home ever since. There wasn't a day that didn't pass by that we didn't have somebody calling us, checking on us. And for us, it's a chance for us to be able to give back because we walked through a difficult time in our lives and we were still able to, to attend church. We were still able to help out. And then coming out and seeing what God has done for us through our son, it has made us want to, want to give back. If it's helping sing on the worship team or lead a small group, or if it's to help out at, at CAP or around the church, we know that God has, has really done something uh, miraculous for us and has propelled us to serve others.